Steve, what's going on in the stock market? Is it going to impact the real estate industry? Give us a little Oracle State of the Union. Okay, uh, I'm not worried about the stock market as much as I'm worried about the words that are coming out of what happened in the stock market. On when Say that again. I'm not worried about the stock market. It's recovered over 400 points since Wednesday. Yep. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the words that what took place in the stock market and is continuing to, what word is being triggered. Because you cannot look at a financial newspaper or a financial website right now without the word recession across the top. And what we have to realize is that word is not a scary word except to your clients. Okay, so please write that down. All right, how, how many is people- not scary to us. My, my, my eyes are a little bit weird. How many people are KCM members? Just stand up so I get a feel for that. How many people are KCM members? Oh, a lot of people, okay. All right, good job, good job. Don't, you don't worry about taking copious notes. What happened this past week, we guessed that was coming. So if you go to this month's KCM that we released on Monday, I'm, you were here, I'm sure you didn't look at it yet, we have 12, 15 slides, exactly how to handle this problem. We guessed it was coming. We thought it was gonna come next month, not next week, but you have all the answers. So don't you worry about writing things down. You'll get that when you go back home and look at your KCM along with a bunch of slides. Everyone else, take Tom's advice. I never ask you to write anything down. I'm going to ask you to write things down today. Good. Okay? So the first thing I want everyone to understand, first thing to write down, because when you are having conversations with your clients, and let me th th explain to you how this is going to manifest itself in your business. People are not going to call you up and say, probably they're not going to call you up and say, there's a recession coming. What's going to happen is some of your buyers are going to ghost you. Now, for the older people in here, that means they're going to ignore you. The younger kids said, no one's ignoring me. No. They don't ignore me. They ghost me. It means exactly the same thing. They won't return your phone calls. They won't return your texts. The reason that was is they read the financial newspapers and decided not to buy. You're going to see how it's going to manifest itself in your business. You're going to have sellers that were ready to put the house in the market, all of a sudden call you and say, nah, we decided to wait a year or two. And those families are getting hurt because they're making decisions not on reality, but their perception of reality. And the only people that can control that reality, the real reality, control that narrative, are the people sitting in this room. My anniversary was Wednesday, so I had to get dispensation from the Pope, my wife, didn't even come out here. But the promise was that I'd be home Friday and we'd celebrate our anniversary on Saturday. When the world blew up Wednesday morning, when the stock market blew up Wednesday morning, Tom turned around and said, could you stay? Now what I knew was I got to get permission from my wife. And my wife said, did they have to hear what you have to say? And I said, yes. And she told me that she's going to let her boyfriend know he can stay an extra day, too. <laughs> but now, here's what you write down. Number one, we're in the longest economic recovery in American history. We are in the longest yes. economic recovery in American history. What ends an economic hey, hold recovery... Hold on, hold on. They can't write that fast. Oh, I'm sorry. We what did, you just, what did are, you just write down? Say it out loud. Okay. Is that an important distinction for us? By the way, is that a headline of a video you're going to show in the bingo, next 48 bingo. hours? We are in the longest recovery in American history. That's a good headline. Even for my Canadian friends, for my friends in Mexico, for my friends in Europe, for my friends in Australia. Like, talk about the global market. So now... That's number one. Number two, I want you to write down. What ends a recovery is an economic slowdown. What ends a recovery is an, is an economic slowdown. That's when they say the recovery is over. Yep. So let me define economic slowdown. 
two consecutive quarters that GDP slipped. Now, the important thing I want you to understand, what I just defined is the definition of the word recession, an economic slowdown that uh, two quarters in a row GDP slid. The definition is not housing crisis. Definition recession is not housing crisis. That's the second video you shoot. What's the difference between a recession and a housing crisis? What's the difference between a recession and a housing crisis? That would be a, be that would be a headline that's going to get clicked on. It's going to go viral. People are going to talk about it. They're going to share it. Keep going. Okay, so now you, you have a situation that you understand what's about to take place. Longest recovery in American economic history is going to eventually slow down. It's probably going to be soon. Now, if you remember, how many elite members are in here? Raise your hand. Remember what I told you back in February? This fall, the word recession is going to be all over the papers. And I apologize. I missed it by two weeks. And it's going to continue until when? Election day. Yep. Because half of the people in this country are going to run on, this is the best economy in, the history, in American history, and the other half are going to say, it's full of holes cracking and about to crumble. So at least half your clients, because it's about 50-50, about half your clients are going to believe that this thing's about to come apart. How would you, in a video, address, in a non-denominational way, both parties in one video? What, well, I, I wouldn't worry about addressing either party, so both parties. I would just say, this is what's really happening. Yeah. All right? Give them the real news. Yeah. And just keep on back. Now, videos are crucially important. I know the time spent to all the first day here on that. And what I'm trying to do is give you some content for those videos. He caught on that immediately. Yep. I'm trying to give you content for anything that you're putting out. Your, your, your Instagram, your videos, your, your, your uh, mailings, anything that you're doing, this type of information has to be out there. We have to control the narrative. All right? So what's going to take place? Okay, but hold on. I want to go back. So what's the, it's the one side's going to say this, one side's going to say that, how do you feel about buying and selling today? And then they go into their talk? Yeah, do we, I would even say one side's gonna say this, one side's gonna say that, that's a given. What I would say is something about, for the, to destroy the myths of what's being said about the recession, here we go. It's something, now I'm not a title writer, yeah. but something along those lines. I would address the fact that the recession isn't what they think it is. Now ladies and gentlemen, let me give you a little uh, tough news. Realtor.com just recently did a survey they asked your clients, do you believe a recession is about to take place? 42% said yes. They then asked them a second question, do you think it will be better or worse than 2008? 59% said it would be as bad or worse than 2008. Wow. Okay. So that's what your clients are already thinking. Now we have the word recession coming into every headline. You have to get out in front of that. And one of the reasons my wife said, do they need to hear it? I tell Tom this, I tell everyone I, when I come out here, you have more power in the American real estate business, in the real estate market, than any group of people I could speak to. Your ambassadors going back into the communities, you're the leaders in your industry and in your communities, you're the trusted advisors, you're the people politicians listen to, even though you don't even know it, and your clients listen to and their families listen to. So you have to give them exactly what's taken place. Yes, have there been surveys where uh, economists and analysts believe that a recession's right around the corner? Yes, they do believe that. But you know what's not in the news? Write this down. The most recent survey done, they asked them more than the question, when do you think a recession's coming? The majority said before the election next year. Here's another question they asked them. What's going to be a trigger of that? 
Now, in 2008, you know what the number one trigger to reception was, uh, recession was? Housing. You know what the number two trigger was? A more melting mortgage market. Wait, hold on, are you guys writing that down? That was 2008. But you wanna reference that. You wanna say, hey, today I'm gonna talk to you about, is this happening? Here's the first thing you're gonna say. If 52 or whatever the number is said, it's gonna be a recession equals a housing meltdown and it's gonna be worse in 2008. Let's remember, in 2008, the two things that caused it were A and B. Now, those same people that projected the recession the same day in the same survey, same people, same day, same survey, said the number one trigger was going to be a trade war. Man, that sounds familiar. Number two trigger was going to be a stock market correction. Uh, maybe. Number three trigger was going to be a geopolitical event. We don't know what's going to happen there. You know where housing came in? Not number four, not number five, not number six, not number seven, not number eight. A housing slowdown was the ninth thing they thought might cause it. So we went from number one to number nine, and it wasn't a housing crisis, it was a housing slowdown. So hey, say the whole thing again. This is so important. This is, is, this is what you need to be shooting videos on right, right now. Did someone take good thing. notes and give them to me? I forgot what I said. No. I usually have my slides, you know, I this know. is the last minute thing. No. I'll, All right, so let's do it again. The same people, yeah. I got it, the same people the same day in the same <laughs> survey. Somebody give him a downer or something. I don't know. No, I'm just going to hit record. <laughs> the, said, yes, a recession's coming, but the same people, same day, same survey, also said housing is not going to be the cause of it. Housing's not even going to be anywhere near the reason for it. They also, on the same day, in the same survey, the same people said prices were going to continue to appreciate for the next five years. Same people, same survey, some the same day. This is not 2008, but your clients think it is. Of course they do. How much pain did they feel then? Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to know what I just told you, and like Tom said, write it down and know it, okay? Now, again, the KCM members, you have all sorts of slides on this. If you're not a KCM member, I'm gonna ask you to write down one thing. This is the first time, any time I spoke that I asked anybody to do this. Write down trykcm.com. Get a free trial. Get all the slides from this month. It'll give you all the slides of what I'm saying now so you can show them. And then cancel your subscription if you want. I just can't give them to you because I didn't bring them with me. All right? Trykcm.com. And ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have good information, keep the subscription until election day next year. Yeah. You're going to need it. Strongly recommend it. It's $25 a month. It's less than $400 to election time next year. Invest $400 in your own education to make sure that you have the answers as they unfold. Because it's going to get a little bit wild and crazy. Not in reality, but in headlines. There's going to be media alarmists that are going to make this much bigger than it's supposed to be. Now, let's go back one more time because my time is out. One last thing I want to say. This recession is not going to duplicate 2008, though your clients think it is. It's going to replicate much closer to 2001 recession. Thank you. In the 2001 recession, write this down. In the 2001 recession, the stock market fell almost 25%. In 2001 recession, the stock market fell 20, almost 25%. Housing prices went up 6.6%. Almost double historic norms. You have to distinguish with your clients the difference between the word recession today versus 2008 and 2001. Because when they hear the word, they think 2008, you have to get them to think 2001. Throw up the slide. I have one slide. It's the only one I had in my bag. All right? I don't know if it's up there. Yeah. It's up there. Here are the last five recessions. In the last five, obviously the last one, which was caused by housing and a mortgage meltdown, 
prices dropped dramatically. The four before that, one other time the prices fall less than 2%. The other three times, prices went up during the recession, and two of the three times, they went up higher than normal appreciation. Why? Because you're seeing this in the bottom of the headlines in the news, financial news. When the market gets crazy, people pull out and buy real estate. So all your clients that are afraid right now, they're afraid about the wrong thing. Don't let that happen. Now, I will tell you, whether you become a KCM member or not, but I do think you should, just until election day. Then you can do whatever the hell you want to do. But from now until election day, it's going to be wild and crazy. You need help. Okay? But you now, it's not just your job. This is what I want to say to you, and I'll end here, Tom, unless you have any other questions. No, I want to do this a little is not your, This is not your job. This is not your responsibility. You're not that level agent. You have much, what you do is much greater than most agents in this country. Get that. You don't, this is not your job. This is not your responsibility. This is your moral imperative to get this information out.